Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Dark Souls 2 walkthrough. So in the last episode, we uh, cleared the giant's memories, and in this episode we're going to be tying up a whole manner of uh, loose ends, because over time we've built up quite a few loose ends, and it's about time that we uh, tie them all up in a lovely little bow. So, first things first, we need to head over to uh, old Kale over here, because he will have something quite interesting for us. Because I believe all of the flames have appeared. Ah, as it turns out, uh, he's not ready to give it to us yet. Oh, I remember what I need to do. Uh, yeah, so we can't, uh, we can't talk to him just yet. There's one last thing we need to do before the map will be complete. And then Kale will have something interesting for us. So, first of all, I'm just gonna buy a uh, ladder miniature from Gilligan here. Come to see Owl Gilligan, Nelia. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me your ladder miniature, which is ridiculously expensive. Cheers for that. <laughs> so, of course, we need that for our uh, old crazy man's uh, quest line. But we're not going to do that just yet. There's another loose end that we must do. So I'm going to head back to the Undead Crypt. Alright, here we are. Back at the Undead Crypt. With King Vendrick. Now, if you remember before, I said that you could uh, attack him, but you couldn't do any damage. Well, now that we have... Uh, what do we have? Um, five giant souls. What if we try attacking him again? A bit more. There we go. That initiates the boss fight. So with Vendrick, with it, for every giant soul you have, you will be able to deal more damage to him. So, yeah. You will need, uh, like, around four at least, but I recommend having all five in order to fight him. So, yeah, you get one from, um... I think you get one from the last giant, I think, I'm not sure. One from the ancient dragon, and three from the uh, giant's memories. And yeah, I recommend having all five, because otherwise, it's going to take a hot minute to kill Vendrick. And he's pretty punishing, so the fight dragging on longer is not a very good thing. So yeah, with Vendrick, his attacks are very simple, just downward swings and sideward swings, but you do have to dodge them at the right time. Oh, and yes, he has, he has like three part combos and stuff. And if they hit you, you're going to take massive damage, as you saw there. He hits slow and simply, but he hits hard. So, yeah, it's quite a punishing boss fight. It's all about timing. Step, 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 step. But so long as you have uh, five giant souls, he shouldn't have too much health. Oh, God. Oof. That was close. Come on. Step. Step, 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 step. But yeah, man. This is all Vendrick can do now. He's just... All he can do is just lazily swing his sword around. He's become a shell of a man, even more so than Gwyn. It's pretty sad. Well, let's put him out of his misery. This old monarch. And there we go. He is defeated. Although we get nothing for it. No souls. Nothing. Well, no, we get 90,000 souls, but we didn't get a soul from him. Or anything. Why is that? Hmm. Well, let's just say there's somewhere else we have to go. So, the thing that we must investigate is this door. It's locked. But if you become human and have killed uh, Vendrick, you can open it. There's a lone chair. And with it, the soul of the king. That is Vendrick's soul. This is where he left it. Why did he leave it here? Who knows? Or at least why was it taken here? Who knows? And in this chest, the king's armor. One of my favorite armor sets in the game. 
I'm going to equip it right now. There you go, the king's armour. Is that not swish as hell? It's got a wicked cape, it's got a lovely, like, furry shoulder thing, it's got a crown. It's awesome, I love this set. Although it does require 14 strength to use, which I don't currently have, so I will have to invest a few points into that, but still, it is an awesome armour set. Love it. Okay, so that does it for Vendrix thing. So now I will move on to the next loose end. So, see you there. Okay, so I have come back to Medulla, I put in some points, and now I can actually use uh, the set. So, now that we've killed Vendrick, we need to head down here to Kale again. Because now he should actually have something for us. Okay. Oh yeah, I remember what I need to do. Okay, scratch that, I made another mistake. I remember what I need to do. I will have to come back and talk to him after I've finished the game. Ugh. Hmm. But I can't do that, can I? Um. Hmm. Okay, I've got a plan. I will finish the game and... I will record the stuff afterwards and I will like and I will post it before I post the final episode. How's that sound? That sounds good to me. So I will show you in the order that it's supposed to be done. Basically, what I need to do to finish Kale's questline, I can't do right now because if I do it, I will finish the game, basically. Basically I can't do it anymore because I messed up the order. But I will edit in the stuff so that I can do it before, if you if you see what I mean. It's complicated, but it'll work, trust me. Okay guys, so the next uh, loose end is this here. So remember the iron key that we got from uh, Iron Keep? Well, this is where it opens. Into this horrible hole of salamanders, or fire lizards, or whatever they're called. Oh my god. And these things are horrible and really hard. And I don't really know the optimal way of fighting them. I apologize. Oh, watch out for that. They're just going to like fly all around the arena. Oh god. And they lick you with their disgusting tongues. Ugh. Horrible. Horrible things. Hate them. But this over here, this is the important item. Oh god. Cracked red eye orbs. No, that's not the important item. The important item is elsewhere. Stab, 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 stab. Get out of here. Get out of here. Right, this is the important item, I'm sure. Here it is. Rebel's Great Shield and Heavy Iron Key. That Heavy Iron Key is a DLC key. So, yes, very important. And this is actually where the uh, lizard was shooting from way back when, remember? Remember when we got the fire longsword? Ah, good times. Now, if you head up here, it will head up to uh, that hole that we went before. But you don't need to uh, go up there, so I'm not going to. There's nothing up there, because, you know, we've already been there. Okay, so that does it for this loose end. On to the next one. So, for our next loose end, if we head over to uh, this place over here, and head down here, where old Miracle Lady was, the crushed eye stirs. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna just use that real quick. Puzzled me out, have you? <laughs> At least now I can finish you off guilt free. <laughs> Motherfucker. Ugh, I think that's Heavenly Thunder there. Motherfucker. So, she was the nameless usurper all along. She was the traitor. See, I told you I didn't trust her. She seemed not very holy after all. And indeed, she wasn't. She is a greedy, selfish, horrible bitch. 
and I will kill and I will take great pleasure in killing her. She's actually quite tough though. She has that heal there. And also some powerful miracles. That's Wrath of the Gods, not Force, so it will deal some good damage. But alas, she still goes down. And we get the Rotunda Lockstone, Soothing Sunlight, an Idol's Chime, and the Saint's Armor. The Rotunda Lockstone. So that's what this thing ran on. Hmm. It never ran on miracles. That was all a lie. She was just trying to make herself look good and, like, swindle me out of money. In actuality, she was just using a lockstone the whole time. Bitch. Ab absolute bitch. So yeah, now, now with that, you can uh, move this path however you please. Which is lovely. So there you go. She was the nameless usurper. Don't trust her. She's basically this game's version of Lord Trek. So, with that loose end tied up, let's move on to the next. Alright, so our next loose end is going to be to uh, use these fragrant branches of yore in uh, this area. Because we still haven't forward everything out. So, let's do that. Starting with this guy over here. What are you hiding? What are you hiding, my man? Ow! God! Stab, stab! Get the Warlock Mask. I'm not sure exactly what the Warlock Mask does, but I think it's pretty cool. Let's have a look. Um, where is it? Here it is, the Warlock Mask. Increases number of souls acquired. Ah, oh, nice. So increases soul find. And also has some of the best uh, magic resistance in the game, I believe. So, it's pretty decent. Right, guys. So our next loose end is uh, Chancellor Veliger here. So, now that we've uh, done quite a bit of stuff, he will now sell us all kinds of items that he didn't sell us before. So the Black Flamestone Dagger, the Yellow Quartz Longsword, the Bound Hand Axe, the Homunculus Mace, the Transgressor's Staff, the Transgressor's Leather Shield, the Black Flamestone Palmer, the Yellow Quartz Shield, the Bound Wooden Shield, the Homunculus Wooden Shield. Pretty cool stuff. I believe all of that is actually, um, is actually pre-purchased stuff that you got for pre-purchasing the game. So, yeah, that's how you get it through legitimate means. And also, now that we've uh, killed Vendrick, I think he might have something to say. The King of Giants? How did you slay that behemoth? Incredible. Now, take these. Ah, well it wasn't uh, King Vendrick, it was uh, the King of Giants. But there we go, Leywin Armor, the Espada Repairer, and the Royal Dirk. The King had a dear Queen. The King. Yeah, yeah. Gone so soon. Be safe on your travels. So the Leywin armor is his armor that he's wearing right there. It's pretty damn awesome armor. I like it. Pretty light, but pretty damn cool. And the Royal Dirk, I'm not too sure what that is, but the Espada Repairer, that's a big one. Amongst all rapiers, the Espada Repairer is basically the best in the game. It's got very good scaling, and all around is just really good. So I'm going to be upgrading the hell out of this, and it's going to be my new primary weapon. And also it looks pretty damn cool as well. So, that is that loose end. I will be venturing to the next. Alright guys, so the next loose end we're going to be tying up, and the final one for this video actually, is going to be Old Crazy Man. Because we have finished his first task. <laughs> Fine work. This is my thanks. Take it. The dispelling ring. Now let's discuss our next mark. Our next mark? How many do you want? So the dispelling ring increases all uh, elemental resistances. Pretty nice. But what was this about our next mark? I want you to kill one more. Your target will be Kale, the man who's drafting that map. While I was trapped in here, he touched me, that maniac, like I was some rare specimen. 
He wore a strange helm. Bring it back as proof. Yes. Yes, I knew I could count on you. Perhaps this will slake my thirst. Slake my thirst. <laughs> I want you to kill Kale, the cartographer. Bring his helm as proof. So, you can kill Kale in order to um, get his helm, or you can uh, finish the map and then he will give you his helm. Now, the thing is, I kind of messed up, and for reasons that I will explain later, I can't get Kale's helm until after I finish the game. So, the, what will happen here is that I will edit in me doing it after having finished the game, and I will put it here in this video, and you will see the rest of his questline in this video. But for now, I can't do it. So I guess I will see you as my future self. Welcome to the future. So, now that I have uh, completed the game, it is time to finish Crazy Murder Man's questline at long last. Now, little um, piece of info guys, this is being recorded quite a bit after the uh, walkthrough was actually finished. So yeah, I might be a little rusty with my commentary, but hopefully I'm okay. And also the servers are still not up. Just FYI, it is April currently, and yeah, the servers still aren't up, so unfortunate, but hopefully soon. So, now that we have completed the game, it is time to claim Kale's helm. Even more flames have appeared. I don't know what causes it. It seems that all the flames have been lit. It makes me feel... somehow... Wait, what am I doing here? Who are you again? Uh, what? Fate brought us together for a reason. Take these, and may they help you on your travels. And there we go. Kale's armor, his shoes, and his helm. That is what we need. It seems that all... It... Wait, who are you again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what does all the flames being lit mean? I have no idea. And what happened? And what how, what the hell happened to Kale? I have no idea with that either. But anyway, with Kale's helm in hand, we can go back to Crazy Murderer Man and continue his questline. So I'll see you there. All right, Mister Murderer Man. At long last, I have acquired Kale's helm. I haven't said anything strange, have I? I have. Absolutely no intention of leaving here. Do not attempt to help me. Just let me sit here and wither quietly away. Ah, uh, yes, of course. I forgot I need to be hollow in order to talk to him. Please, just look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'll just go kill myself and be right back. Okay, so now that I'm uh, hollowed, we should be able to talk to him. Hello, Mr. Man. <laughs> Fine work. This is my thanks. Take it. Simpleton Spice. Now let's discuss our next mark. That's right, more marks. Simpleton Spice isn't a very good reward, but whatever. Alright, who's next? I want you to kill one more. Your target is Felkin the Hexer. As proof, bring me that peculiar scepter of his. What do you say? Indeed. Yes, very good. But he will be formidable. Be cautious. So, Felkin the Hexer is our next target. So his scepter is what you need, and again, you can get it by either killing him, or you can get it by having stat requirements, I believe. I believe what you need is like 18 or 20 intelligence and faith. So yeah, fairly large stat investment, but with a soul vessel, you can get that easily. 
So yeah, I believe that's what you need, so I will go talk to him after I have gotten the stats. I want you to kill Falcon. That's Falcon the Hexer. He has that scepter. Bring it to me as proof. I want you to kill he has Yeah yeah. Alright, I might just be off to do that and I'll see you there. Okay, so I have the stats, so hopefully he should give me his scepter now. The dark watches over you. These are for you. Aha, the sunset staff and the hexer's armor. Together, into the dark. So there you go. So I can't remember if it's uh, 18 or 20, somewhere around there. But yeah, somewhere around there, intelligence and faith, and he will give you all of his stuff. So yeah, the Hex's armor is his armor, of course, and the Sunset Staff is his staff. I don't know how good it is, but there you go. No matter, the, the time will come. Yeah, yeah. Alright, back to murder a man, and that will complete his questline. Mr. Man, I bring good tidings. <laughs> Fine work. This is my thanks. Take it. Forbidden son. Now let's discuss something of importance. Oh, what would that be? You could kill a dozen like that and it wouldn't matter. I want you to kill someone of import. I want you to kill the girl in Majula, known as the Muse. They say that she is the last Firekeeper. But they say a lot of things. That she's a gentle shepherd, lighting the way for you cursed fools. Nonsense. Once she is dead, I will have no regrets. And I will be content to remain here. The girl will have a peculiar feather. Bring it to me. Now go along. <laughs> yes. So, that is his final target, the Emerald Warden. Now, don't kill her. Because again, you get the Aged Feather just from progressing through the story. So yeah, you do not need to kill her, and for the love of God, do not. Because if you do, you won't be able to level up or, or reinforce your Estus Flask. So yeah, do yourself a favour and don't do that. So anyway, I already have the Aged Feather, so what do you think? Yes, that's the Feather. God. Oh, that is very good. Your reward. Take it. <laughs> Unleash magic. God, he's so creepy. What do you require? You've been good to me. Go on, tell me what you need. So, Royal Sorcerer Navlan. So now that we've completed his questline, we can buy stuff from him. So he'll sell the Astrologist's Armor, the Black Witch Armor, the Thunder Quartz Ring Plus Two, various Great Arrows, various consumables, including Bonfire Aesthetics, and, and some Sorceries, which we already have. These are for you. And the Chaos Armor, which is his armor, I believe. Don't mind the specks of blood. <laughs> yeah. You are so creepy. You are so creepy, man. Probably the creepiest NPC in the series. Now I am at peace. I will sit here and watch the world turn. <laughs> Now I am at... I will... And that does it for, Nav uh, for Navlan. Well, as you wish. <laughs> so, there we go. 
That is Royal Sorcerer and Avalon's questline complete. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.